Let's get your signature added to your image and work with inserts. Welcome to SETI Astro. Well, if you don't have the newest version of SETI Astro Suite, head over to SETIastro.com under Astro Program, SETI Astro Suite. It'll take you to the GitHub repository where you can get the, the latest release and any pre-releases that may be out there. Previously, I had made a script for PixInsight uh, called Astromark Signature and Insert Adder, where it allowed you to uh, select your signature, add it in, change the opacity, but I didn't have anything like this in uh, City Astro Suite. I kind of figured, I don't know, people were probably using other photo imaging kind of programs, but today's that day, and let's go ahead and look in City Astro Suite. So let's go ahead and, and load up an image here. And I have here my image of the Eagle Nebula that we did here in SETI Astro Suite, but I, I wanna add my signature to it. So now you, under functions, you can find the signature insert. Also, there's a, a quill pen over here uh, at the end of the whole function menu bar here for open signature and insert tool. Now what this allows you to do is to either load your insert or signature from a slot, if you have it loaded in one of the slots, or from a file. So I'm just gonna go ahead, load from a file. I have the same signature PNG that I use always, and it does have a transparent background. So it does, it does use the transparent background, you can see here. Uh, you can click and drag around on the actual graphic to move it. And then there's a blue dot up here that allows you to kind of resize and move it around however you want. You can uncheck, draw the bounding box. That's gonna be more for if you have an insert, you can, uh, you know, have a box around your insert. Uh, it also has some spots here if you just wanna rotate it by a certain amount or scale it by a certain amount. You could also right click anywhere on it and send it to one of these positions like the bottom right. And now if we move over to the bottom right of the image, there's our signature sitting down here at the bottom right. You could also change the opacity. Not everybody likes it um, very prominent. So you could change the opacity right on down like this, scale it how you want, and then just click affix inserts. And, and it's done. Um, we can go over here and, and check it out. And here you could see it uh, nice and transparent. All right, now let's say you want to actually make like inserts of various items in here to highlight them uh, in your image. You know, maybe you want to blow up some really tiny galaxies or, or something of that nature. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and copy this image over to a couple of the slots so we can crop them in. Okay, now I have three copies of the image in these uh, slots one, two, and three, and we can go ahead and crop uh, crop what we want. So maybe we want this one here and then uh, maybe we want to highlight this this other bit of the nebula here and I, I don't know there's this carbon star up over here maybe we want to blow that up too. So now I got crops in these slots and what we can do is go back to our, our main image and use our signature insert adder and insert them. So you could load an insert from a slot. We'll do slot one first. So here's here's the eagle, um, like the center, but maybe we want this one kind of rotated and, and bigger and we want a, a different border color. Uh, maybe, maybe we want these kind of all this golden color. So that'll be our border and then we want to insert another one. So we'll insert from slot two. Okay, here, here's the other one we want. So let's go ahead and, you know, put him where we want. Okay, and then for the final one, uh, let's just go ahead and load that last one from slot three. And a little note, if you want to send it to one of the corners, you're going to have to turn off the, uh, the bounding boxes. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but uh, let's let's send this to the the bottom right. And we can turn our our bounding boxes back on. That's really more for the final touch at the end is including those bounding boxes anyways. 
And there we go. Um, there, there's some different uh, style boxes if, if you want as well. And let's just go ahead and affix all these now. Say affix inserts. And now we have our inserts in our image. Um, I could have, I, I should have placed them a little bit differently, but it gives you the idea of you can go ahead and actually crop out bits, blow them up, place them in the image where you want uh, to highlight different things. So now you should be able to fix your uh, signature to all sorts of images and really showcase your work. Please comment, like, and subscribe.